going down to a local grocery store where you can get distilled water. It's generally about 99 cents a gallon. So, you know, in size of Walmart, you can find it at 74, 88 cents a gallon. But even at 99 cents a gallon, that's, that's $30 for a month's supply of the best medicine or you could ever put in your body. It's the cheapest thing. That should be everybody's first food budget item every month. 30 bucks for pure water. What a bargain. And you know, the funny thing is also usually the cheapest water in the store, people are paying, you know, ex you know $4 for a liter of Fiji water or whatever, all these expensive waters. Flu shots available here. No appointment. Come on in. Those have been up 24-7 now, 365 days a year. Here's the third shot. Don't hide from the flu. Oh, it's got that weatherman on it, Dr. Al Roker. Get your flu shot now. So who needs that when you got your own urine? It's got the flu antigens in it. This is exactly what these are mimicking, except these have mercury and thimiserol in them. Pure poison. Can't hide from the flu at Rite Aid. We'll make sure you know about it. Still water that's uh, 10 for 10, a dollar a gallon. And I've called Crystal Springs before, and they've actually told me on the phone that a lot of uh, heart doctors recommend their patients this actual water. This is something very disgusting. Uh, this is uh, water for babies, and it says with added fluoride. Uh, minerals added for taste, and it says with added fluoride. Now the really crazy joke about this is the ruse that they use to put fluoride in the water is that it helps protect your teeth, but as far as I know, babies don't have teeth. So why does baby need fluoride? Total dissolved solids counts, 220 parts per million. Right here. Right here. Uh, what's their solids count? Dissolved solids, 309 parts per million. So they're proudly listing that it comes from a mountain, natural spring water. They got the mountain right there, and they're telling you this has this has dirt in it. But they just stopped bothering to list the full chemical name of it. See, it says calcium, magnesium, potassium. They don't bother telling you this is inorganic calcium inorganic magnesium and inorganic potassium. Complete death to the body. Pellegrino's on my fifth. All right, let's see what kind of ratings we get on this water. All right, let's see what kind of ratings we get on this water. So uh, this is a total dissolved solids meter, TDS. You find about $15 on the internet. It gives you a readout of the parts per million in your water or in any liquid. Um, it gives you a digital readout right here, zero, zero, zero. There's two electrodes in here which it measures uh, how easily the electric current runs between the two and that figures out what that equates to in parts per million. So let's test some water. First thing we'll do is get some unfiltered tap water. Let's measure that over here so we keep it separate from all of these. This is very simple to use. Turn it on. And we're getting 58 parts per million. Okay. So this is water from my distiller. See how it's not changing at all? Zero parts per million. And just so you don't think I'm fooling, here's the tap water. What 
Oops, it actually goes that way. So there we have oh, 54 parts per million, 55. Put it back in the distilled water, stays at zero. Purified or distilled are synonyms, and to purify water means it's an attempt to get as close as you can to zero. This is what nature does all the time in the hydrologic cycle, it is an attempt to leave behind all matter, to create new water so that it can do its job of running through the earth and running through creatures and cleaning things. Well, you can also see a clarity difference. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but there's just, there's a slightly brown color to this water versus the distilled water. Let's test these other waters here. We got Evian, we got Perrier, we got Pellegrino, we got Fiji, Deer Park, basic spring water, Crystal Springs distilled water. Now I've called this company and talked to them and they literally told me on the phone that a lot of times uh, cancer doctors and even heart doctors will put their patients on distilled water. And I guess Crystal Springs is a known particular type that's very good. Um, and so here's Deer Park. They, they take they have spring water, but they also have distilled water. Okay. So here's some Avion. There's Pellegrino on the side that says calcium, 4%. Again, they aren't bothering to tell you that that's inorganic calcium. They tell you where it came from. They tell you it came that it was natural mineral water. Again, they don't bother to tell you that it's inorganic minerals. Natural mineral water with natural CO2 added, total dissolved solids, 948 milligrams per liter. Sometimes they list it that way. So here's our Fiji water. Let's see what we get. So again, here's my tap water. I can just tell by the brown color. 50, now it's saying 59 parts per million. Here's my distilled water from my machine. It's fluctuating around a one now. Damn it. Here's Evian. I believe on Evian it says 300 parts per million on the bottle. So here we're getting 275 parts per million. No, three, yeah, 309. So it's coming close. But notice here on the label, look how Evian doesn't bother mentioning. It just says mineral composition. They're completely leaving out of the discussion that there's two types of minerals, organic and inorganic. And they just say calcium, magnesium, potassium. If they were truly labeling what they really are, it would have to say inorganic calcium, inorganic magnesium, and inorganic potassium. They even show you that it's coming from a mountain. Mountains are made out of dirt. Humans do not eat dirt. Dirt is made of inorganic minerals. This is deadly to the human body. Perrier, again, sparkling natural mineral water. About 375 parts per million. Takes a while to settle and come to the actual number, but you see where it's at. Pellegrino. Six hundred, over six hundred parts per million. All right, Fiji. I believe that said two hundred four parts per million on the on the bottle. Is that a one? Yeah, one hundred forty four parts per million. And again, you see here on the bottle, that lists calcium, magnesium, and they don't bother telling you that these are all the inorganic versions. They just plainly state that it's calcium. Okay, here's Deer Park spring water, 186 parts per million. Here's Deer Park distilled water. Now. What's happening here is there's some matter on the electrodes 
So it's saying three parts per million. But let's see what happens if I shake it in a little bit. Went back down to a zero. That's probably what was affecting mine coming up to a one or a two. Zero parts per million. Crystal Springs distilled water. Again, zero parts per million. Let's go back to my distilled water. Give it a fair shot here. Yeah, now there's no movement. Pin back at zero. Now where's my tap water? 55. Okay. Here we have some raw goat's milk and some freshly made pineapple and orange juice. Now a lot of people say, well Andrew, how can these be distilled waters? They're not just water. Well again, distilled doesn't necessarily refer to it's not really a type of water. Distilled is a condition of liquids. And what creates that condition is when everything in it has the same electrical charge. With these distilled waters, once it's clean, every molecule has a pure negative electrical charge. And since just like a magnet, the same two sides don't want to go together, like there's a force field there, they're pushing away from each other. It is that push that creates the distilled condition. It's not still. They're all trying to move away from each other because they all have the same charge. In the electrical world, opposites attract. So when you have positive and negative, they stick together, and now you have things clumping together, and you don't have free-flowing liquid anymore. The reason that body fluids and living fruit juices are distilled is because they too are alive, and everything living in these things has a negative electrical charge. So, and yes, you know, it's not going to read a zero, but these are still distilled waters. This is raw goat's milk. Again, this is raw living uh, orange juice and milk. So let's see what we get here. Now this says 123 and the times 10 is flashing up in the corner. So that means 1,200 parts per million. It's a lot of parts, but the good thing about these parts is they're alive. This is actually organic calcium. Whereas back over here in Fiji water, when it lists the calcium, this is calcium coming from rocks. And that's inorganic calcium. You cannot use that. Here, Evian, again, they list the calcium, and they're showing it's coming from a mountain. This is dirt. Mountains are made of dirt. This is inorganic calcium. Your body cannot use that. This, these parts per million, you can use these. You want these types. Let's see what the milk comes in at. Again, the, ta the times 10 is flashing. It says 239. So this is actually 2,390 parts per million, but these are all living parts per million. This is what you want. This is why these are still distilled waters. And we'll test urine later on. These two will have high counts. So these are distilled waters because they're living. Uh, all body fluids, all plant fluids are distilled because they all have the same negative electrical charge. And urine is the same way. I've talked to some people who say, well, how can urine be a distilled water? Because it's got all the stuff in it. It's the same exact thing. All the things in urine are living. It's excess minerals, hormones, and nutrients. They're all bioavailable. They're all still alive. And this too creates the distilled condition of the water. Now I've tested my urine at different times and when it's kind of a, a typical uh, or a slightly more than normal yellow color, you know, from being slightly dehydrated, I've seen it at 8,000 parts per million. When it's a typical normal yellow, yellow urine color, it's at roughly 4,000 parts per million. When, it's, when I've been drinking a lot of water and I've been eating a lot of raw foods and it's close to clear and it kind of has a slightly yellow quality, it'll be at about 2,000 parts per million. And when you start fasting, and this will tell you what's happening with people who are going on the 30 and 40 day urine fast, if you keep testing it, while you're fasting, you get to three, five, seven days out, 
it gets down to zero. It goes from you know 8,000 to 4,000 to 2,000, and you keep testing it, it'll actually eventually pin out at zero. And this is truly showing you that it's not the ingredients in urine. Yes, they are there to help and to their excess things, and you can use them. But what is really healing people is pure water. And these people doing 30 and 40 day urine fasts, after about five days, there's no more ingredients in the urine. They're just cycling the world's, the universe's most awesome water ever over and over and over. And that force field that you always wished for as a kid is a real thing. If you flood your body with pure distilled waters and you rid yourself of all the inorganic matter, you create resistance, ohms, you literally become the resistance to the harmful energy that we're surrounded by on this current psychopathic planet. And this shows you that pure water resists harmful energy, but yet is a conductor for life force, for healthy energy. This is Wilhelm Reich's organ energy. This is Tesla's radiant energy. This is prana, this is mana, this is chi. Life force, life force. These are all words for the same things. We are light beings harvesting light. And when you make yourself pure, the whole body is a Tesla generator, is a Tesla coil, is an organ generator. That's what the huge whole body really is, is a conductor or a lightning rod for life force. And when you make yourself pure and you eat pure raw living foods, people start to glow. And this is why all the old pictures uh, of saints, they're always painted with a golden glow around their head. And in all the testimonials that I've read, it is common to see in the tagline, not only will say, and now I look, my friends tell me I look 20 to 30 years younger, but there's also common taglines that say, and now my friends tell me I'm glowing. Well, what, what is that glow? That glow is that same thing that normally only a curly and camera can pick up. But when people become so pure, their cup runneth over and they're bubbling over with prana, mana, chi, organ energy, Tesla's radiant energy, what do you want, whatever you want to call it, it's light. That's what you truly are. All matter is condensed light and you are a light being harvesting light.